It's what those video games are based on. People react when I tell them I'm Arthur. They flip out and they ask me to do the voice of Arthur. Wait, you don't really have a cousin named Doc, do you? I had a friend who had a daughter and he asked me to uh, phone his house for her birthday party. Oh yeah! And uh, I started speaking as Buster said, Hi, I'm Buster from Elwood City. And I've never heard kids react that way before. It was like this, this gasp and this incredulous like, <gasps> <gasps> Mr. Redburn! It's Mr. Redburn! Oh my God, you play Francine? Oh my God, I grew up with that show. Oh my God, this person, oh my God, now my kid is watching the show. It's an unbelievable reaction. It was one of those moments as an actor, and they don't happen very often in my life, where you think, I'm glad I'm Mr. Ratburn. Candy boy get angry when he no get candy! Roar! Poor Arthur! Afraid of a little doll! <laughs> How am I like DW? When she's happy, she's like this cute little sister, and I'm not I'm not really sure if she likes basketball, but ball is light for me. Maybe it was my moan! I should have done my I don't want a bath moan. That one's the scariest! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love making people laugh. <laughs> uh, when I was young, I read aloud. I would uh, switch and uh, read the characters in a different voice. And I've done that, I think, since I was like eight. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in public, just by myself, yeah. <laughs> just so that's clear. I'm Puffy McPuffmeister. He's a professional wrestler. He pins people with his squishy body. At first, Binky was a little more pure bully, but there's something that's really refreshing about him in that he won't uh, candy coat something. He'll just say, sometimes he just speaks very eloquently from the heart. All right now, who can solve this problem, Binky? I auditioned, in fact, for the part of Arthur. But when I came into the studio, the producer of the series, Carol Greenwald, was sitting on the other side of the glass from the recording booth. And between takes, I was just talking, you know, about life and what, what I was up to. And Carol listened and said, that's Mr. Rapper. Look, we just do that one on its own. It's a fabulous show. The writing is so strong. The stories are so great. It's not condescending. Every year, the tenants in our building put up a list of apartments you can trick or treat at. I know them all by heart. They're There's so many people that still watch it. And because it's gone on for so long, that they're now, they've got their kids watching it. All in a day's work of a voice actor. <laughs>